In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 5, verses 12 to 16. And it happened when he was in a certain city, that, behold, a man who was full of leprosy saw Jesus, and he fell on his face and implored him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then he put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he charged him to tell no one, but go and show yourself to the priest, and make an offering for your cleansing, as a testimony to them, just as Moses commanded. However, the report went around concerning him at all the more, and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities. So he himself often withdrew into the wilderness and prayed. In St. Luke's Gospel this morning, we read that Jesus cleansing a leper. And of course, under the law of Moses, they had to go and present themselves if they had been cleansed, show themselves to the priest. And there were certain offerings they had to make in thanking God. Jesus told him not to say anything. But of course, he did. The report of this man's cleansing spread like wildfire around the area. And great multitudes came to be healed by Jesus also. to sit and listen in the presence of Christ, to be healed by him. And so much so, Jesus needed a time out from, you know, from all this. It was coming overwhelming. And as it said in that very last verse, so he himself often withdrew into the wilderness and prayed. When you find things becoming too much, we should learn by this to go to a quiet place away from the hustle and the bustle of the crazy world we live in to spend quiet time in the presence of God, to pray, to listen to his word. There is another reading today. I won't read a lot of it, but it's to do with incense in the church. It's the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, and apparently there was problems in this church with sexual immorality and many people being puffed up about it. What is the message in this? It is very difficult when you find these sort of things happening within the church. It does much damage. And Satan is at work. We know that. He's out to pull down the church. So what do we do? 
as St. Paul was saying here. Your glory is not good. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? In other words, this sin will soon spread as leaven does. Just a small amount. It cannot be allowed to happen. So we've got to get rid of that leaven out of there. And he says to them, Therefore let us keep the feast not with old leaven, nor with leaven of malice and wickedness, but with unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Sadly, Sometimes, back in those days, people had to be kicked out of the church before they pulled the whole church down into sin. But we all should always remember the teachings of Christ to love and to remember we have a loving God. All we have to do is repent and we will be forgiven. Repent of our sins. If we fall into such a trap of Satan, we must repent and return to God to turn around not impossible as we read in the gospel about the man who had leprosy he fell down on his knees his face down and implored Jesus Lord if you are willing you can make me clean no matter how bad we think it is all we have to do is ask to repent of our sins and God will cleanse us. Jesus Christ, cleanse this leper. And he was anew. So too, when we sin and fall short, we must repent turn back to God, ask for forgiveness. And as I mentioned earlier on, when things become too much for us, we need to withdraw into the wilderness. I'm not saying that you have to go out into the desert or into the bush. Just go into your room, for instance. Close the door. Fall on your knees. And pray to God for forgiveness. Pray to God to help you. We have the Holy Spirit. He will help you through those trials and tribulations. Remembering always to give God the glory for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.